um, I'm going to be talking about some things that apparently are being um, trying to be passed through very on the sly like and it's going to affect our second amendment no doubt 100% they've already done some things that most people aren't even aware of and this isn't good guys it's not good at all um, while, while I wait for some people to hop on um, um, I got my sh few of my shirts in from Grunt Style um, check this out amazing material y'all y'all have to get some and please uh, message me because I don't think I'm getting uh, all the um, I only see two people that have ordered and I know more people ordered than that so I just wanted to make sure that you're being tracked uh, correctly all right um, and we still have our 35% off so don't miss that and you know goes to help support my channel and stuff <laughs> uh, so I can continue doing this what's up y'all okay so big things so first off let me talk about um, the NRA you know we all think we're supposed to support them or something but they're not supporting us they are not supporting us at all they are just trying to be friends with everybody when y'all pop in put a thumbs up so this can go out to it's bad enough that this is my backup channel so nobody will even see this it sucks okay but this is what's already happened let's let's put out what's already happened we have at least 11 states that have red flag laws if you don't know what red flag laws are they're also called risk protective orders this is where anybody your random neighbor that hates you your ex-wife your ex-husband whoever can call the police tell them that they're afraid that you're going to hurt yourself or hurt someone else and your guns will be confiscated from you I'm not kidding this is what's really happening and there's no due process the police will come in no warrant nothing they will make the decision and they can take your guns for at least and not, I mean not at least they could take them up to a year while you're in court trying to get your guns back because of your crazy ex-wife or your crazy uh, neighbor that just doesn't like the Second Amendment I'm not kidding right now uh, the states are Indiana Florida California Delaware um, I don't know but they're trying to push it nationwide you think I'm joking I'm not joking and look look who, who supports this mr. Chris Cox and somebody else that no due process no due process let's check this out I don't know if y'all can see this yes our president watch he's gonna say it potential danger to themselves or others allow due process so no one's rights are trampled but, but the ability to go to court obtain an order and then collect not only the firearms but all, any any weapons in the possession we'll of that individual. We'll take the firearms first and then go to court because that's what? another system because a lot of times by the time you go to court it takes so long to go to court to get the due process what? procedures. Uh, I like taking the guns early like in what? this crazy man's case that just took place in Florida. He had a lot of fires. They saw everything. Y'all, to to this court is court not effect. cool. So you could do exactly what you're saying, but take the guns first, go through due process. Take them first. That's your NRA hard at work for you guys. That's take we're... the guns first. You are accused of nothing. You have nothing in your background. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? Uh, I mean, it, it maybe... He's, I understand he's being under attack by this and that, but guys, we just have to look at the facts. This is, we just have to look at the facts at this time. We only have like 30 days for this next thing I'm about to talk about, him and Mr. NRA leader. This isn't, these are people saying this all over the place, y'all. It's, it's freaking, it's, it's nuts. Uh, let me check out uh, Chris Cox. Okay, Chris Cox essentially just said the same thing. 
and um so right now we have um he's pushing the red flag laws so they can just take your guns without being convicted of anything not even a warrant it's just like a little stroke of a pen there you go we took your guns some states it's six months some states it's up to a year but you know you're going to have to be in court. This is not fear-mongering. This is legitimately already passed in 11 states. And they are, it's under review in 22 states, but they're trying to just go past all that and do it nationwide. This is insanity. This is insanity. Um, so, the, what, another thing that has already happened is during the omnibus, omnibus bill, whatever, they pushed through an expansion of the NICS background check, which uh, wouldn't seem like a big deal. Normally, it used to be just like a three-day wait period. Okay, here, here you go. Well, they've expanded it, and now, according to many gun ownership sites, I mean, uh, shops, there is a 97% false positive. Meaning, when they go to run it, you're going to get flagged and they're going to push you around, make you go defend yourself that you didn't commit this crime or this crime because they pulled up the wrong. 97% false positive. And so that just got pushed through. Uh, b back with the omnibus bill, omni bill, whatever that was. Are we stupid? Y'all, we aren't focusing on what's, what's legit going on. We're focusing on things that could, oh, y'all, this is happening, and this may be happening because this said it or, no. Guys, these are things that really actually happen, and I'm going to upload this video with, like, all of the the screenshots and the links and everything like that to make it better but I want to get this out right now because right now listen to this the NRA has pushed Trump to already sign for the ATF which is the alcohol tobacco and firearms to reclassify what an assault weapon is so they're gonna make up their own definition of assault weapon at, at this point, they're trying to put any semi-automatic as an assault weapon. Yeah, did y'all hear that? Seriously. And we have less than 30 days to rebuttal this. this they're going around Congress to actually do this. So this isn't even going to have a congressional hearing, nothing. They, they feel that if they put it out on the website, then you should have been, you should have went and checked it out. Most of us have it. I didn't even know about it, so it's already been like a week, I think. We have less than 30 days to go write a rebuttal. Um, I, it's on the NRA website, if you don't believe me. It states it, states it that rewriting the law that is, um that will reclassify semi-automatics. I mean, what? Most people have no clue about this, and when this gets passed, what, what are we gonna do? It gets, it's gonna get passed because it's, we were too lazy to write an opposition letter, or we just didn't know about it. So if you don't share this, and if you don't tell your friends that support the Second Amendment that this is going on, so what they're going to do is reclassify any semi-automatic and that way then they can ban all assault weapons that they just reclassified into pretty much every gun in America. And this, this new cat that's um, running for president or he already is the president of the NRA, Oliver North. Do y'all know who that is? I, I respect the man. He's a veteran of the, of the Marines. He was very, very much uh, part of the Iran Contra. He helped to get the uh, the first ban that Clinton pushed through. He's also he's a politician. Money does really crazy things to people. And when you're getting a five million, a six million dollar a year um, 
whatever salary for whatever you're doing you become a yes man apparently apparently people just they they are they're not even looking out for what's going on in America and they don't care anymore these people that we think are actually supporting our rights are going behind our backs to do whatever the crap they want to do and this is so serious at this point is I mean less than 30 days and they'll be able to take any guns already already these red flag laws if you live in one of those 11 states your crazy neighbor can call on you anonymously anonymously and have you all your guns pulled yep how did this happen how in the did this happen is what I want to know we have been so blind following I, I'll say it cue this cue that this that and the other that we have just gone retarded and this is this is going to happen if I mean I feel that it's gonna happen anyway I'm not trying to be negative and I want y'all to all right now seriously all this oh enjoy the show enjoy the show if I hear that fucking phrase again I'm going to freak out because this is not a show that I'm enjoying and if you are then you must be sleeping and dreaming about a different show because this is insanity and we are being duped we're being duped and if you don't see it I don't know what else to tell you I don't want to go all Alex Jones on y'all but y'all this has already happened it's not like oh what if these things have already happened and we're not even paying attention before anybody says anything yes the shooting in Texas happened 100% positive it happened if you don't remember where I live I live right next to the Texas border I have friends that are down there it happened uh, there are some sketchy things with the I'm not even gonna go into that because I don't want to get this channel flagged but it actually happened so please don't say anything and the reason you're not hearing anything about it is because the Texas people are smart and they're not going to talk to the media so I'm just gonna leave it at that right now before I get a strike on my channel um, oh, but I will say one other thing. Have y'all heard anything about the father? Oh, he's an illegal immigrant. Just wanted to throw that out there, and that's all I'm going to say. They didn't say that. He's an upstanding citizen, I'm sure. I'm not saying anything against him, but they sure never said anything about that. Moving right along. Um, so, just some little statistics for people that are just in denial of life um, you're more likely to be hit by lightning two or three times in your lifetime than being shot by a rifle only 400 people are shot and killed by rifles every year 400 out of 330 million people so the fear-mongering of oh my god your kid is going to be killed your kid will definitely have a higher chance, like ridiculously higher chance of being killed by a drunk driver or a texting and driving person or freaking falling down the stairs. I'm not kidding. Yes, falling down the stairs. But if you want to talk about in general, I mean, I've already gone through the statistics that you actually could die of constipation more times than you would be shot. So the statistics are there they're not made up I mean we are we, we have lost it we have we we are being bamboozled by this corrupt nonsense and I really want to go into what's going on at the elections today in Venezuela holy freaking crap y'all they have been lying to us about Maduro this entire time I'm not even gonna get into that because I did I did hours upon hours upon hours of research and I just want to ask y'all one question that just to put this in y'all's mind before I do a video about Venezuela what do these countries have in common Iran Iraq Kuwait Saudi Arabia well you could put all those together and then Venezuela all of those have 
something in common. But I just want y'all to think about what it actually they have in common from our history. Not Venezuela, but... And that, that will... It, it's ridiculous. They're going to put us in another war over another lie for some oil and for some money and for this and that. Put our young men and women in another freaking war to get so many of them killed over a lie. Because it, like, if you want to argue this fact that, oh, no, it's socialism, it's socialism. Okay. It, I didn't say socialism's for us. But this is what I want to put a question to y'all. Because I'm not kidding. They, they, they've already said that they're going to try to overthrow Maduro if he gets elected president, which he will, because everybody supports him. And if he was really that crazy and so horrible, would that many people... I have a lot more facts, so I'm not just going to go off with no facts, because then people are just going to get all angry and crap. But I just want to ask y'all something. I'm sure most of my audience realizes that 9-11, we were lied to, right? Uh, we were lied to about Vietnam. We've been lied to about our Federal Reserve. So why in the world would they be telling us the truth about Venezuela? They haven't told us the truth about anything else. And I, now I know for a fact that they haven't. I've the amount of research that I did, that I've been doing, and that's why I haven't gone live. I know I kept saying I was going live, but I really didn't know how to even, I mean, honestly, I I feel like my video might not even be heard by many people because people have become just so ingrained with cognitive dissonance. It's scary. It is absolutely scary. Yes, uh, y'all know I support my country, my gosh, but the corrupt government that we have and have had for a very long time they are screwing us all left and right about everything and we aren't even seeing it because of people putting out things blatant lies to get us to think that there's these white hats that are fixing everything for us Yeah, there, there are some good people there, but they can't do it alone. And the ones that are posting, they've, they've already been exposed. The, there's, the evidence is 100%. I'm not even gonna go into that because right at this moment, y'all need to realize that we need to rise up. They are taking things away and we're not even seeing it they're lying to us they're gonna put our kids our grandkids in another war for oil for money and and we're going to believe it just like we believe those towers came down because of Osama bin Laden really really no that's not what happened it's not we all know it Y'all need to share this. Um, get on the NRA website. I mean, fact check everything I said. I I'm serious though. Like, if it if this happens and you didn't write an opposition letter, will you be like, will you be able to complain when they come and take your semi-automatics? No. Nope. You'll be able to complain if you did write a letter. What, my flat earth video? Y'all are ridiculous. Y'all focus, share this. Um, oh, y'all, and I, I still only have a couple weeks left till uh, that premiere of the child trafficking movie. And so I still am taking donations to get me there. And again, so, uh, so uh, yeah, Grant style. You know, show everybody that you support your Second Amendment. Get you some cool stuff. I mean, we've got some bad A stuff. 35% off right now is amazing. It's amazing. You get a whole summer wardrobe for, like, they've got board shorts. We've got all kind of stuff. Links are all in the description. 
y'all have any questions of course leave them in the comments and y'all share this it needs to get out okay i will talk to y'all later about the other stuff time to go play in the water kids are swimming i'm sure y'all hear them in the background all right bye guys